Hi, Hiram here. For those of you that have been watching my tests in the past, I think you pretty much figured out that uh, if I get a wood burning stove, I always like to test it with a Trangia burner. I mean, there's just times you get to, get to a place and it's either raining and you don't want to be bothered with looking for dry wood or you get to a place that's so far up in the mountains, all you've got are rocks and grass. So it's always helpful, i found, to bring the burner along to use for those types, at those times. Uh, this setup is not a Graham Weenie type thing, believe me. The uh, Just this stove thing by itself weighs a pound. Then you add the pot set to it that it came with, and it makes it two pounds. And then I'm adding a Trangia burner. So the, the weight goes up. But anyway, I'm going to try this with the Trangia burner. Now, it's a little bit past the sweet spot. It's about an inch and three quarter from the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot in this configuration. But uh, that can always be changed. I just want to see, you know, how it works here. So let me light this. I want to show you something interesting that kind of surprised me. I thought this might just get enough air the way it is, but it doesn't. Let me turn out this. Okay, I'll go to camera and You can two. see what the flames are like just on a Trangia setting in the Sierra stove by itself. Now I'll turn the fan on low setting. It kind of cleans up the flames. I thought maybe it would make it burn even harder, but it seems to be cleaning it up. And here it is on fast. Now it does make for slightly bigger flame, but it's a fairly clean flame. Let me shut it off now. Okay, the other day, last night, it just kind of went kaflooey. Maybe it's not hot enough yet. But I may try this test on low, on the low fan, and just see what happens. So let me prep my water, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I have my flames going. I have two cups of water here, setting at 59, 60 degrees. Now the thing is, I notice <coughs> the whole stove tilts a little bit to one side so that's something else I'm gonna have to fix maybe it's just something in this pot in the bottom of the fan but let me turn the fan on low and we'll see where this goes here we have 210 211 to 12 in 5 minutes 6 seconds. Okay, not bad. Let me just turn that off. Now remember, that was with a stainless steel kettle set. The Olicamp stainless steel. So, not bad. Uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in five minutes and six seconds. And that was with the burner not being at the sweet spot of about an inch between the top of the burner and the bottom of the pot. This is setting at, <coughs> excuse me, setting at one and three quarter inch. So it'd be real easy to just raise up the burner with something. Okay, I see that this uh, stove is tilted towards the camera. I'm going to have to see. It could be the bottom plate or something but uh, there was always a complaint that this wasn't very steady on the ground anyway so that's my first my boil test using the Sierra stove and the Trangia burner I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now